Hi everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio. And I'm hoping that what I saw on an earlier video or an earlier work that I did on a video, the Christmas fabric and the Christmas ornaments with the new Christmas fabric paint, that I'm gonna try to recreate it here live because if this is a problem, I want you to be able to see this so that you don't do it yourself. So what I have here, this is a DTF. This is the cowboy boots. Many of you have taken this in class as a embroidered stitched block. And I love this one. This is a, one of my original patterns I got from a coloring book. So what happened when I was working earlier was that I put my little mini iron straight down and I was applying bling. And when I lifted the iron up, I had lifted up some of the ink from the fabric. Now what I'm hoping is that it was a result of being on metallic fabric and not just any fabric. So without further ado, I'm gonna pretend like I'm doing what I shouldn't do, which is heat setting without a press cloth because that's exactly what I had done earlier. I got in a hurry and wanted to set the rhinestones so that I could move on to my next task and um, screwed, almost screwed it up. I, I was able to actually recover it and it there's a little couple of bobbles in my work, um, which I will point out to anybody who wants to see them, but um, again, I thought it'd be wise to test this so that I can um, make sure that I pass along the information as, as these things happen. Okay, without further ado, I'm going to pretend like I'm going to heat set this bunch of roses right here. Notice no press cloth. The iron is set at high. I mean, it goes straight down, and I'm going to hold this, and I'm just going to sit here and talk and do just like what I was doing earlier, which is setting the rhinestones. Well, you know, it's a 10, 15, 20 second thing. And let's see, oh, I'll just keep on talking for just a few seconds longer. Okay, let's see what happens when I lift this up. All right, nothing on the bottom. Ah, uh, this is good. This is very good. Okay, nothing lifted up. Nothing um, changed. Um, so it's got to be the metallic fabric. Uh, so word to the wise. Um, and I know that with Christmas coming up and I've got a bunch of ornaments coming in, I was really anxious to resolve this issue so that y'all don't make the same mistake. So just make sure not to apply a DTF to a metallic fabric if you need to apply the iron direct onto the fabric. Now, using a press cloth, using parchment paper, even a paper towel, I think will protect your work. But just be aware that if you place a DTF on metallic fabric, and you go directly with it on it with an iron, potentially you can damage or destroy your design. Well, if you have any questions or want to leave a comment, as always, down below in the comment section, I'll be always happy to respond. And thanks for watching.